And, and hydro is another example of this anti-impact thing because you have, you have this thing. So it cannot replace fossil fuels because there's just not nearly as enough hydro in the world to do that. But there are estimates you can have two to four times more hydro in the world. And in particular, if you don't have nuclear yet, so hydro can produce very, very low cost electricity and those things last a long time. Mm. And in the right locations, as you indicated, they can help with drinking water, they can help with flood control. So they're often a very good idea. And yet the movement that claims to care about CO2 is hostile. So go to the Sierra Club's website, they still brag about here are all the dams that we've shut down. Even um, mm. I debated this guy, uh, Andrew Dessler, who was on Joe Rogan's show, which is selling so many fallacies. But one thing he talks about is he, he had this claim that which is no basis that you can just have 75% solar and wind, and then it can just be supported by hydro or geothermal uh, or nuclear. But interestingly, so nuclear, the way it works today, doesn't scale up and down in the way you need to to support. So natural gas is the best thing at going up and down. But you look at this guy's Twitter profile. I don't know if he thinks nobody reads things. He's against hydro. He said, I agree, we shouldn't have more hydro. And he's saying this is, so. but it's, it's so you can, that's why I say you can only understand it by the fact that their goal is eliminating human impact on Earth. If yeah. it's advancing human flourishing on Earth, you cannot be against fossil fuels for carbon reasons and then be against nuclear and then be against hydro and be against mining and be against transmission lines. It's just, it's an incoherent position. It is incoherent. It's, it's a refusal to understand how things work and where they come, where they come from, um, why things are the way they are. Or you don't want things to come. Yeah. For the leaders, they just don't want things. Things created yeah. by humans. 